Well, fouled reality is kind of my little brainchild that I came up with last year on days like today where I was just sitting in the blind thinking. Um, you know, there's not a lot of waterfowl shows out there. The ones that are out there, the guys are driving into a spot, they're hammering their limits of ducks and geese right off the bat, you know, and it didn't really seem realistic to me. Um, don't get me wrong, I love pounding some geese and pounding some ducks, but that's not how most of us experience waterfowl hunting. And what I wanted to show was what we experience. You know, we have our good days. We kill our limits every once in a while. Um, there's a lot of days where it's like today. We sit here and we look and we look and we look and we wait. And uh, that's about all the events of the day. You know, nothing happens. Currently, we're sitting here partway down the Mississippi Flyway and there's no weather up north. There's a bunch of ducks staged up Iowa, Northern Illinois, Northern Missouri. The seasons are closed up there. There's no weather to push them down. And we want to show that. We want to show, you know, hey, this is what's going on this year. This is what we've experienced. We hope people can relate to it. Um, and that's what we're going to show on Fouled Reality. This year we'll film hunts not only at the club, but with friends of ours from all across Illinois. We've teamed up with Ryan and Brian and the guys from Muddy Dog Outdoors on a few hunts in the Midwest. We'll hunt private land where we can find birds and gain access to them, and we'll even venture out to a couple of public hunting spots along the Mississippi Flyway. Chris Walters, I'm 26. I'm an analyst for a consulting firm in St. Louis. I've been waterfowl hunting since I was 14 years old. Would I rather kill ducks or geese? I think I'd rather kill geese. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy killing ducks, especially on those those flight days where you just can't beat them off of you with a stick, but I mean, talking those geese into giving up and just, they're just huge compared to a duck and it's just much more exciting for me. Granted, the limit is, you know, much less than that of killing ducks, but I enjoy killing geese more than ducks. <laughs> Why do I enjoy waterfowl hunting? Uh, I enjoy waterfowl hunting, um, you know, I enjoy being outdoors. Uh, the camaraderie you have with all your buddies. Uh, unlike deer hunting, you sit here in the blind, cook breakfast. You know, sit here and talk when it's slow like days like today. Well, my name's Kevin Haddock. I'm 43 years old. I sell electrical supplies for a living. Basically, I'm a desk jockey. I've been duck hunting since I was 24 years old. Remember it just like it was yesterday. It's cold as hell. Broke ice, had a cheap pair of waders, and froze. I knew, though, at that moment, this is something that, you know, I want to do. If it flies, it dies. <laughs> I just enjoy being out here with the guys, have a lot of fun picking on people. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a lot better for me just to come out, get outdoors. Uh, I'm indoors, in my opinion, just way too much. And to me, it's just uh, the, the whole thing about watching birds work, fooling something that is a wild animal that has no clue that you're there until that last moment. Whether I kill them, doesn't matter. I like to just watch them work and do their thing here in the wild. My name is Blake Hagemeyer. I'm 27 years old, and I'm a stay-at-home dad with a 14-month-old little girl at home. I would rather kill a duck, personally. Uh, don't get me wrong, I enjoy killing geese. They're big old birds, they're a lot of fun to shoot. But uh, what I like about ducks is you see them off in the distance, and you don't always know right off the bat what kind of duck it is. Um, all the different species, a lot of the birds are really beautiful. Uh, it's kind of like reaching your hand into a bag, you never know what you're going to pull out. What I enjoy about waterfowl hunting is, uh, you know, hanging out with my buddies. You don't have to worry about your scent, taking scent-free showers like you do when you're deer hunting. You're not sitting in a tree alone. You know, you're hanging out, sitting in the pit, sitting in the blind, cooking breakfast, talking. You can get up, walk around a little bit. You don't have to worry about being super quiet unless the birds are working. Uh, I really find it a lot more enjoyable than deer hunting. My name is Scott Akbar. I'm 27 years old. I'm a state of Illinois licensed plumber. I have been waterfowl hunting about six, seven years now. My first hunt took place, uh, some buddies asked me to go along one night and uh, I had absolutely nothing. So we went to Walmart and I got me a 870 and 
a pair of waders and we hunted for about five hours and we shot one lonely mallard drake and I took him and ever since then I've been hooked on it. By far I'd rather kill ducks. I mean the geese are awesome but I mean when you got a bunch of ducks coming in on you when you're on the X there's nothing better than that. I, I believe the best thing about waterfowl hunting is the camaraderie like laying in your blinds and talking amongst each other while you got a flock of ducks or geese coming in on you and they have no clue that you're there and just waiting to call that kill shot. My name's John Limestall. I'm 46 years old. I'm a union carpenter. I've been waterfowl hunting for uh, eight years. I very do much remember my first hunt. It was with my father at uh, Bowen Lake uh, Hunting Club. And uh, we didn't kill anything that day, but I watched two huge 747 uh, Canadians go into the pit next to us and I'll never forget it. And I was hooked from that second on. I would rather kill geese. Uh, it's just something about uh, killing those big birds. I just, uh, I just love killing big birds. I enjoy waterfowl hunting because you get to ex spend uh, a lot of time with uh, fellow hunters in the pit sharing things. And I love birds at decoy, whether it's turkeys or geese or ducks. But what, there's nothing like birds locked up and, and coming at you and dumping air, right? It just, there's nothing to it that replaces it to me. That's the main crew of guys that make up our Fouled Reality team. Stay tuned the next seven weeks, every Monday, for a new show as we document the migration and show you our Fouled Reality.